Well, let's get a different perspective from our good friend and perhaps the one and only reasonable Bucknut himself, Mark Rogers, who has an outstanding channel that you want to be watching here on YouTube, the voice of college football, particularly in the offseason. So much information that you get that helps you get ahead of those uh, sports investment markets. Good to talk to you again, Mark. How you been, brother? Steve, I am doing just fine. And even though that uh, Ohio State-Michigan game should be deep, deep in the past, uh, man, it seems like every day on social media, I'm reminded by how many days your Michigan contingent reminding me how many days it's been since Ohio State defeated Michigan. That's now the running total, of course. That's all right. We put up with that for about 10 years, including many of the comments here on our YouTube videos. You know, since you went there, maybe I, I'm, I'm confident you have a different perspective, okay? But I have to say this. I, I'm not one that thinks that bulletin board material doesn't work. I've covered college sports teams as a beat writer. I've been inside the locker room culture. It, it absolutely works. It's just most fans don't understand how it works because they're just not as driven as a player. A lot of fans sit there and think, well, if you need that to motivate you, it must not be very good. You have to understand everybody's very motivated. Everybody is. Everybody's motivated. Everybody's everybody's going to the nth degree on everything constantly. And so whatever you can do to give you that 111, 112, 113% focus and edge, because everybody else is going 110 all the time, that's where it makes a difference, okay? But in the annals of of smack talk to be posted in an opponent's locker room, a guy who wasn't even Michigan starting quarterback, Doing an interview with the publication I founded and used to publish, Wolverine Digest, and my former partner over there, Brandon Brown, did an outstanding interview with three of Michigan's prized freshmen, J.J. McCarthy, Andrew Anthony, Donovan Edwards. Just go over there and watch it. It's fantastic stuff. And the question of the Ohio State rivalry, of course, comes up. J.J. McCarthy says, you know, hey, man, we weren't here the last 10 years when Michigan couldn't win. All we know is winning last year. And so... You know, we'd like to keep that going, and we don't plan on that changing. And for that in 48 hours to end up as, as, as something that Ryan Day posts in the locker room, that? What would you think J.J. McCarthy was going to say? We were just damn lucky to win this one, and you know, we, I'm glad we got one over my four years here, and I'll be just really happy. What would you expect him to say? You want some real smack? I, you and I will remember this, Mark. Remember Walter Smith, the guy who said, yeah, you know, we're we're close to getting John Cooper fired. We hope we get him fired by just keeping beating Ohio State. Now, that's some smack. That pissed off his own head coach at the time, by the way. <laughs> okay? So, that is some smack. Or Michigan's not, not it doesn't matter anymore. They're irrelevant. Terry Glenn. That is some smack. The we you know, we only know when in last year. We just plan on keeping that going. That's 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 your edge. That's soft, precise, man. That is freaking soft, Mark. I'm sorry. That's soft. But what are your thoughts? It's soft out of the head coach. It's soft out of the head coach. If he's taking that as bulletin board material, then that bulletin board is going to be awfully full by late November. Um, yeah, if the players want to run with that, they're 18, 19, 20 years old. They can do whatever they want, and it's silliness to a 50-some-year-old. But – yeah, for the, for the head coach, for Ryan Day, for all the respect that I've got for Ryan Day, um, you know, be bigger than that. You, you don't need that for motivation. It wasn't really a huge dig. That's all J.J. McCarthy knows. Now, he's speaking, it seems, when he says we for the rest of the team, and that's not necessarily accurate. Uh, there are plenty of losses on those players' track records. But for him and him alone, yes, they beat Ohio State with him, um, I think, carrying the ball twice. So he didn't have a whole lot to do with it, but uh, he's on the team and they beat Ohio State. Uh, you know, I think 42-27 should be all over the place uh, right. in the football facility in Columbus. And that's enough. 42-27. I have to ask you about this, too. Gene Smith saying, if we expand the playoff and have home college football playoff games, we'd rather play him in Indianapolis. Somewhere, dude. First of all, that tells me Gene Smith is close to retirement. Because I don't, he'll need armed guard. Unless y'all really are, really have gone soft as a fan base. He would need armed freaking guard to get around Columbus if Ohio State was going to play like Alabama in a home playoff game in, in, in your stadium in December 
and they moved it indoors to a stadium out of state instead. That somewhere Ohio, somewhere Woody Hayes is allowed out of eternity just to come back and and slap you around a little bit. I could not believe, could not believe he said that. Even if he was thinking I couldn't believe he said that. What was the reaction of that amongst Ohio State fans? Or have you all truly, did one loss to Michigan, you all truly did lose your balls? Just in one loss in 10 years and you guys just totally lost your balls. Yeah, we're going to play indoors now. Don't play at the horseshoe. I couldn't believe that he said that, Mark. Steve, it's a lot warmer in Columbus than it is. It is Ann Arbor. No, it's it's uh, this is not a football mentality. This is not a I don't want to use war terms at this time, but uh, it's it's not a competitor's mentality to, to make those kind of statements that, oh, we got to play in the plush little dome because we can't stand 42 degrees. The average it was 51 degrees in Columbus on the date of the last Big Ten championship game. Shoot. What it's whatever it's going to be, 30 degrees, 50 degrees, whatever it's going to be. You're a Big Ten football team. You're a football team, but you are a Big Ten football team that's supposed to be tough. He even mentioned, in addition to those comments, say he alluded to the passing game and how important the passing game is. Name C.J. Stroud by name. Well, C.J. Stroud's not going to be around for a college football playoff appearance at Ohio State. Mm-hmm. But regardless, it's it's just all silliness and it's it's rather pathetic and embarrassing. All right, so we agree on that second one for sure because that to me just speaks to the culture of our of our traditions and heritages here as Big Ten football fans. 